Hey, this is Stacy at allaboutfastpitch.com, and I just have a couple of thoughts and questions for fast pitch coaches out there. Hopefully, some of what I see in this video will help you and um, strengthen your ability as a coach, and as well as help your players to perform better. But if you're anything like me, you've been in a situation before where you're new to a team, and maybe you're worried about if these players are going to want to listen to you. You're thinking that maybe they won't respond to you. And you're wondering if you go in, you're going to go in there and these players are going to be looking at you wondering who are you and what is it that you think you have to offer me. So if you're dealing with high school players or high school age athletes, you may be in a situation where they have no idea who you are, they have no idea what your past experiences have been, and frankly, they may not care. So if you're in this situation, there are many things, of course, that you can do to build your relationship with your team and to earn your team's respect and trust. But one thing that I wanted to ask you today is whether or not you really know your players. Of course, people talk about that all the time. You have to get to know your players. But do you know what their biggest fears are on game day? Do you know what worries them the most? Do you know what their biggest struggles are on the field? Because if you know the answers to these questions and you can address these issues for them and you can help alleviate some of that fear, some of that worry, and some of that anxiety for them on game day or in the field, on the field in general, then that is going to go a long way toward not only, number one, helping them perform even better, but it will also go a long way toward earning their respect as a coach and building your relationship with them so that they will be more open to listening to what you have to say and what you have to offer them. And I think that in itself helps any coach be more effective because you have players who are more responsive to the, your instruction. And of course, if you're connected with them and you know what their fears are and you can help address that for them and take that away, you can obviously see that that's going to help them perform better. But earning their respect, earning their trust, as well and getting the, your players to the point where they want to listen to what you have to say. I mean think about it, if someone came up to you and helped you out with something that you were really worried about or something that was giving you a lot of anxiety, wouldn't you be more open to listening to what that ha that person had to say in the future? I know I would and the, it's probably true with your players too. So figure out what it is that your players really worry about. I mean, do you know what their biggest fears are? Do you know what worries them most on game day? Do you know what gives them the most anxiety and makes them the most nervous? If you know what those things are and you can address those issues, help them through it, help take away some of their fear and anxiety, help them perform better and enjoy the game more, that's going to go a long way to making you more effective as a coach and being able to um, open them up and instruct them better because they're going to be more responsive to the things that you have to say. So just a couple of things to think about today and hopefully it helps you out and um, helps you improve your coaching as well as improve the players that you work with. So if you have any thoughts or any comments that you'd like to share about what I've covered here today or what I've shared with you, go ahead and leave me a comment on the blog below. I look forward to talking with you again and I hope you have a wonderful season.